This section provides a basic description of the different types of water right reports. More details can be found at the Water Board's website. What is a diversion? A point of diversion, or POD, is the location where water is initially taken under control from a source by a water right holder. Sources can be surface water, subterranean flow, or groundwater. Examples include gravity-fed diversions where gravity causes water to flow through a pipe or a floodgate, or pumping water from a source. The Water Board authorizes direct diversions when water is diverted and used soon thereafter, or a diversion to storage when water is diverted during times of surplus flows and stored for use at a later time. The most common water right reports are statements, appropriative reports, which includes licenses and permits, registration reports, which include domestic, irrigation, and livestock, stock pond reports, groundwater recordations, federal statements, and federal stock pond reports. These will not all be covered in this video. More information can be found at the Water Board's website. Statements have water right IDs that usually begin with an S followed by six digits. Federal statements begin with an F and end with an S. Statements include reporting for use of water on land that is adjacent to riparian flow, pre-1914 continuous diversions, court decree rights to the water, Pueblo rights, or some water rights pending approval by the Water Board. Statement water right holders file supplemental statement of water diversion and use reports. Additional information may be found at the Water Board's website. Licenses and permits are types of appropriative water rights. They can be identified by a water right ID beginning with an A, usually followed by six digits. Some licenses and permits have been split and will contain additional characters. Licenses and permits are agreements with the Water Board that include provisions such as when and how much water may be diverted, what the water may be used for, and where the water may be used. Often a permit is granted followed by a license. These water rights are generally for diversions that are greater than 10 acre feet of water per year. Appropriative water right users file progress reports for permittee or licensee to record their annual water diversions. Additional information may be found at the website listed. Registrations can be identified by a water right ID that begins with a D for small domestic registrations, H for small irrigation registrations, or an L for small livestock registrations and followed by six digits. Registrations are agreements with the Water Board that include provisions such as when and how much water may be diverted, what the water may be used for, and where the water may be used. Registrations are generally for diversions of less than 10 acre feet of water per year. Registrants are issued a water right certificate and file a report of registrant annually to record their water diversion. Additional information may be found at the website listed. Stock ponds can be identified by a water right ID that begins with a C and followed by six digits. Federal stock ponds begin with an F and end with a C. Stock pond water rights are agreements with the Water Board that include provisions such as when and how much water may be diverted, what the water may be used for, and where the water may be used. Stock pond certificates have been phased out. New stock pond users should apply for a livestock registration 
through the registrations program. Stock pond holders file a report of stock pond to record their annual water diversion. Additional information may be found at the website listed. Groundwater IDs begin with a G and are followed by six digits. The Water Board records the amounts of groundwater extracted by users in Ventura, Riverside, Los Angeles, and San Bernardino counties. Groundwater reporting is required in these counties for annual extractions that are greater than 25 acre feet total for multiple wells or 10 acre feet from a single well. Groundwater filers use an annual report of groundwater extraction and diversion to record their water extraction. Additional information may be found at the website listed. This concludes the background video on types of water rights. Please see the Water Board videos to access RMS, the Report Management System, and stay in compliance with your type of water right. Thank you for watching.